Mushroom farm is, it's basically, uh, it used to be a camel's mushroom farm where they raised mushrooms for sale for soups and stuff like that. It was the biggest uh, mushroom grower, growing facility in the U.S. for a number of years. It's been here since it was built originally in 1958. The uh, property right now, we're growing pumpkins, you know, eco farming is one of, one of, one of our things that we've been doing growing quinoa and stuff like that. We did that last year, but we're also rehabilitating the property. Before it was so slow that we really couldn't get any work done there. So we'd have to do our internet type work at home and then we could only do other types of work there. Now we have the fastest speed within 30 miles of here, I think. So. Now people go to the mushroom farm so that they can do their high-speed internet work, whereas before you left there to go do it. We had a satellite connection, I won't name the company, <laughs> and we actually tried two different ones. And the, uh, we were having a lot of uh, outages, and we were also, our speed was anywhere between 8 to 10 to 12 megabits on a good day. Our, and that was our download speed. Our upload speed was uh, two to three uh, megabits. Uh, and then we had a lot of issues with uh, unstable you know, modems. The equipment's really sensitive. If the dish even gets a little bit, you know, the transponder gets even a little bit out of, out of line, then we would have to contact them. And, and, and you know, eventually we'd have to figure out our, ourselves because we just weren't getting the service that we wanted. Uh, we were, and we were paying with our over overrun fees on data. We, we had the premium package, but we were still paying almost 200 bucks a month. I'm seeing an average of about uh, 55 to 60 megabits uh, download. And I might, once in a while, I might occasionally get it, you know, it depends on the speed test to use. And I might occasionally get hit 70 megabits. Uh, but it's pretty much, like I said, our average is somewhere between around 55 or a little bit better. We've never had a significant problem with it. Any problems that have been there have been our own end of the system, not, not what Mimosa supplied. Uh, well, so far, we, we, other than some uh, startup you know, configuration issues when your engineers were, were you know, fine-tuning the radios, uh, you know, we had, we had uh, one outage and they sorted it out. There was, it was a network loop that they, it was taken care of, but since then we haven't had a single problem. And it, it's been very reliable. We can monitor our, our, our surveillance uh, cameras remotely with no, from the uh, main server with no issues. Uh, it's just like being here. So, and we're also feeding, we, we also have about a, a four of the radios that's, that are feeding other buildings with uh, switches and, and internet and wireless access points there. So the biggest difference is, is the internet speed for you know users. That, you know, for me, when I'm here, for everybody else, uh, the the speed, the remote access is uh, you know a hundred times better. I'm looking at actually live cameras instead of you know spinning wheels waiting for the cameras to load. I can I can manage my my server remotely, uh, 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 like real time, like I'm here. So it saves me a lot of trips down here. I live in Half Moon Bay. It's like you know, 30 minutes each way every time I come down here. If I have to come down here and check on equipment, I haven't had to come out down here a single time to do anything, uh, you know, with with uh, you know the new radio that's been put in, that rebooted or anything else. It's just been stable. Well, like I say, now we can actually show up there and work. So the owners, management, um, you know, our staff, our whole team, or anybody who's visitors and stuff, now people can come there and really get their work done um, or be social or do feel connected. So, so many times before we would have, you know, business people coming that we might have want to be building relationships with or something, and they just couldn't come because they couldn't be disconnected. We're very happy uh, you know, with, with uh, your equipment. Uh, you know, it, it's, its size, its footprint is uh, relatively, uh, is very acceptable. I expected the dishes, to, the radio dishes to be a lot bigger. I mean, you don't even know it's there unless you know where to look. It's completely night and day. 
It's like, yes, no. It's not, oh, it's a bit better. It's like totally having like a great race car and walking.